Whether you're looking to buy a home or rent an apartment, securing a safe and comfortable place to live can be costly here in Connecticut. Our southern piece of New England is known for its fall foliage, good pizza, and charming shoreline communities. But for those seeking a place to call home here in Connecticut, they may say the state should be known for high rents and even higher home prices. The Connecticut Department of Housing Commissioner tells me this is nothing new. Lack of affordable housing actually has been an issue for a long, long time. 20 years ago, I started in the field. And there was a need for affordable housing. New Haven Mayor Justin Elliker tells us the Constitution State's largest cities, Hartford, New Haven, and Bridgeport, are all facing a similar and simple problem. Too little supply and too high of a demand. The vacancy rate is so low, it means that all of the housing prices are up because there's just not a lot of units available. But just how costly is Connecticut? Let's look at the averages. In Bridgeport, those renting a basic one-bedroom apartment are facing an average monthly payment of $1,367, while the buyers are seeing an average cost of $281,000 for a starter single-family home. Now hopping over to New Haven, the same sort of apartment goes for $2,051 per month on average, and home buyers are seeing median cost of $259,000. And heading north to Hartford, average rents are at $1,400 per month and home buyers are looking at $145,000 as their average home price. Compared to the national average, Connecticut renters are paying around $150 more per month for an apartment in these three cities and across the state. The commissioner says the above average rents are an issue Governor Ned Lamont's administration is taking on. We started four years ago. Uh, we finished in the first term 6,800 units, $500 million in federal and state resources. That brought in about $3 billion in development activities with help the economic engine of Connecticut. She says the goal is not only to increase the number of homes and apartments available, but increase the percentage of them that are affordable. And this is not an overnight process. Well, we have a lot of work in front of us. We have done a lot, but we need to do more. And for those of you falling into the home buying side of things, you could pay up to $150,000 less for a home in some cases in those three cities. Now, if that sounds like something that you're currently looking into, tune in tomorrow night. I'm taking a look at the state of real estate and what challenges home buyers are facing here in Connecticut today. In Hartford, Brooke Griffin, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.